Hello, Lolas. <laughs> Welcome back to my world. <laughs> Thanks for peeping in. <laughs> no, guys, if you're not a Lola, go ahead and be one by subscribing to this channel. Once again, let me repeat really quick what a Lola is because a lot of people be like, what is a Lola? And I said it before. So Lola comes from a character in a book that I was watch I was reading. Actually, I found out later. Um, well, you know my memory is bad. Her name was actually Lila, I think, and I thought it was Lola because I could. I my memory is bad. Anyway, so I started calling you guys Lola because what in the the character in the book, she used to house sit for very wealthy people all around the world, and she would sit in these high rise buildings and stuff like that, and she would take her binoculars her binoculars and she would look in all these windows and she would make up stories about these people by seeing what they do like she she knew that they were eating at six o'clock and they always she always come off and she always take her heels off her so she always do this and she would just learn people routines and habits and then she would make up stories about them of what she thought they did for a living or what she thought they did etc etc so I feel like, you know, when we come on to YouTube, we get little bits and pieces of people lives. And I hope you do you have on a diaper under this? You don't. Shoot. Oh boy. You need a diaper. Let's see if I can get lucky enough. Yeah. Um so I feel like we we come in and we look at people and we make we make up in our mind who these people are on YouTube off camera. Um, some people may say, "Oh, I don't think that far about it." Da 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 da. But I do, child. I'd be looking at you like, "Ooh, I bet she," and "Ooh, I bet," <laughs> you know. So yeah, so that's why I call y'all Lotus because I feel like you guys are getting a peek inside a little bit of me. And what I share with you guys and you guys, you know, just get to make up your own, you know, stories about who you think I really am, I guess. Let me cover this up because it keep trying to track Calvin on my shirt. All right. So this is baby Micah. And baby Micah is, he's a preemie, but he's, I think, 18 inches or so. So he's a good size preemie. He's like a small noob. Small newborn, large preemie. Um, he's a baldy for now, and so I'm gonna get him dressed. My little head is cold too. Um, he's a personal baby, so he's not for sale, but he is the Warren sculpt by Laura Tuzaras, and he was painted by myself. Look at your little socks. We gotta take those off too. I love him. So, I, I know. I know y'all probably getting tired of me saying this, but I'm so excited. Like, and like I told y'all, I just have to hold on to whatever little excitement I can have. And I'm just so excited. It's been ages since I've had, like, a full collection that I really, really love. And I'm trying to share, like, keep sharing all of them with you guys. And it's, you know, I get it because, you know, like... It's so cool when people have the same collection and not keep switching them out. And I love that because it's like now they're kind of building their own things. Phoebe has her stuff. Kingsley has stuff that I like for him to wear, you know, and, you know, all the babies, just they have their own things and, you know, they just have their own personalities and all that great jazz. So I'm really loving making babies that or getting babies that are really babies that I want to keep and so hopefully these babies stay for some time you know or forever till I get old and gray and feeble and my grandkids you know 
come over and be excited about the dolls. My, hopefully, I'm hoping Gabby turn out to be a doll collector, but I don't know if she's going to be a doll collector. She really kind of just, well, she does play with them sometimes. She has, yeah, she has her reborns and stuff, but she don't really play with the silicone babies so much. She just really like give her a pacifier every now and then and just kind of leave her there. She sit in the same spot for months. So I don't know if she's going to really like love them, like love them. But I think she will enjoy them enough to actually, you know, like maybe come dress a few with me from time to time when she gets a little older. I don't know, but it would be nice. <sighs> That's what I, I liked about um, Stacy and Gianna on um, Gianna's Baby World Reborn <laughs> I um, on her channel because it's a mommy and daughter. You know, it's so nice when you have that, that bond together. Um, my youngest daughter used was the only one that actually played with dolls growing up that really liked them. She really liked dolls, um, Tabitha. But my oldest daughter, Keisha, was a Barbie fan. Oh my gosh. And even though I absolutely could not stand Barbie, I had a cousin that was just Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Oh my gosh, she was just Barbie, Barbie. Kelly got on my last nerves with Barbie like I would be like let's play dolls she's like you gotta play with my Barbies first <sighs> okay play with these little sticks and um I always thought Barbies was stupid forgive me sorry I'm judging but I'm just because they're so little like what are you gonna do with those little things but anyway so we had to buy Barbie everything for this little girl I mean we spent hundreds on doll houses and stuff like that but anyway no one none of I think she still likes Barbie and she says she's gonna make my grandbaby a Barbie girl so we're gonna be at war with that because I'm gonna make her like dolls and she wants to make her like <laughs> Barbies it'll be our look she won't like none of them oh but anyway so yeah so I wish that I have a little doll collector but it may not happen and I'm a firm believer in letting my children become who they are destined to be I don't want to force what I want them to be on them even with hobbies look at you oh my god he's just so cute I love him my mom said that's a funny looking baby <laughs> And she said, he look real though, but that's a funny looking baby. I said, mama, he is cute. She talking about, mm. I said, mama, he is cute. Uh, we laughed and laughed. And she was like, I said, mama, because I said, did you see my baby on the sofa? She said, I saw the little thing. <laughs> I said, mama, why you call him a little thing? He is so cute. She talking about, mm, he funny looking cute. I was like. No, he cute. She was like, he, he not. And I'm like, she was like, well, he look real though. So it was so funny. I'm like, well, he looked like some of the babies in our family. She was like, and they were funny looking cute. <laughs> anyway, we, we, me and my mom like that. Now my mom is actually really getting into, you know, collecting them. She likes them. And my mom was the first person to really say to me, that you know you know basically it's nice to have them and that they actually were a comfort while she was in a grieving period um so i thought um you know it made me really think about some things and so I really, I, I do like that. And um, my aunt now has Katie Lou. So I am like slowly letting babies go, but to family. And so she has Katie Lou. Eventually, I hopefully I'll get her back and get her rooted for her. Um, I'm going to paint her another baby. I'm actually going to paint. This is my challenge next year. And I, so... 
it's very weird, but um, two of my aunts have angel babies. And they were not babies when they passed away. But I am going to challenge myself to try to make babies off of their pictures when they were babies. So I know what kit, and I gotta, I'm glad I'm I brought this up because I gotta remember I need to order that kit so I can just have it here. But um, the Jalen by Laura Tuzer Ross is one that I need to use for one because I already know that baby looks very close to one aunt son. So I'm gonna do that baby. And um, that hair that I use in um, Dallas hair, I'm gonna, I got some left. So I'm gonna use that in his hair because I think that hair really matches the hair pretty good. If not, I'll have to remember what mohair it was that we used in the other one. But nevertheless, anyway, so that one, they're both chocolate babies too, so it's really gonna be a challenge. And the other baby, um, my other aunt baby, which she has a reborn already for me as well, but that baby is, um, he was born, he had very fine hair. Like he was like almost like a ball baby. So, but he was chocolate, very chocolate, even more chocolate than the other one. So we're going to see, um, I'm going to, that's next year. Once I get through with my pay orders, I'm going to try to work them in between what do you guys think i'm gonna put him on some socks his little head was cold so I'm, i think that room is a little cold where is the socks oh. what do you guys think he looks so cute right <laughs> i love my babies i'm so excited i'm, I'm just I am so thankful. I've 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 been through so much, but stuff just seems to be still I still have this to look forward to. My work has been so stressful. And I'm telling you, painting the babies and um collecting has been really good. Uh, I don't know. Those socks is not, not for. Them are not the ones. I don't like them. They throw the whole outfit off. I didn't think they throw the whole outfit off like that. Cause I had these, and then they got stripes. And I think these will throw it off too. I think he needs some solid color. What do you guys think? They might not throw it off as bad, but kind of still do those stripes and print. I don't like stripes and print together. Ugh, that's a fashion no-no. Okay, so let's forget the socks for now. But yeah, so I got a lot of little side projects that I want to get done too, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And my mom wants specific kits too done, so I got to paint her another Gabigail. I was thinking about Kingsley at one point for her, but I forgot she doesn't like sleepers. So I gotta, I gotta paint her another Gabigail. So I probably do her in a wig, and it needs to be chocolate. She has Nini, but that was my older paint style, so I want to do her another baby. I may not even do it so chocolate. Why she gotta keep having choc all these chocolate babies? I'm not that chocolate. Like she don't want a baby to represent me. I'm gonna call her and ask her about that. Like, why you, you, all you like is dark skin babies? Well, I take that back because she got Alex and Alex is light skin because my baby sister, um, was light skin for two days. <laughs> then she was Kingsley color. Anyway, that's holding the story for a whole nother day, but anti hoo hoo. Um, yeah. I'm going to ask her why she don't want to shoot. I'm going to make that baby my color. And she's going to have to deal with it. Because I don't, I, I be, I don't know. It's a lot of work. Anyway, what you guys think about him and his little outfit? Him such a little peanut. Oof. 
Look, look, look. Look, look. Hey, woo woo. Hey, world. What you got to say? And he said, I thought somebody said something. I stole it. I think, who was that? I see Marshall on um, Facebook say that I, th I thought somebody said something. So now that I started saying that, I don't even know what I mean. I thought somebody said something. I saw somebody said I was ugly. <laughs> I thought somebody ugly said something. <laughs> Ain't that's how it's supposed to go? Oh, I love him. Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, come back 10 o'clock. Oh, sometime every now and then I put in one early and then one late. I don't know, but 10 o'clock is my regular time.